In this tutorial, we will learn how to create exported view, how to animate it, and how to create line sketch. I want to create exported view for this assembly. Click on this exported view. Then select the component you want to reposition for exported view. Then click on the axis in which direction you want to move it. Suppose I want to move it in green direction. Click and drag the mouse. Same way, click outside, select the other component, click on the axis and drag the mouse. While creating exploded view for animation, you follow the same steps that you will be following for assembly or disassembly. Same way, again this component, click on the red axis and drag it outside. Click outside, select the other component, drag it outside. And if you want to drag the group of components, then you can use the window selection also. Using window selection, you can select multiple components and drag it simultaneously at the same time. Then click outside, then select the individual component and drag it. So whatever steps you have used for creation of the exploded view, those are available here. If you want to edit any step, you can click it, right click on it and click on edit step. And if we dr drag this scroll down, from here you can define the finite dimension also. If I want it to be 240, enter. So it will be adjusted to that length. In this way you can edit any step, double click on it and you can edit the dimensions or dimension or if you don't want any step, if you want to cancel some step, you can just right click on it and delete it. That step will be cancelled and your object will be placed back on its place. I will just bring it back again, I will drag it outside and click on OK. And if you want to collapse it back then click here on configuration manager and cl click on this plus sign expl views one right click on it and click on collapse so it will again collapse and if you want to explode it back right click on this and select explode so it will explode back and if you want to create an animation video for the assembly or disassembly then right click on this now it is in exploded state so you can create animation for collapse click on this animate collapse it will show the animation if you want to create the animation you have to take care that you have to follow the same sequence while creating the exploded view then from here you can control the different options if you want to repeat the animation again and again then click on this playback mode loop and if we now view it it will repeat the same thing again and again. So it started back and it is repeating it. And if you want to show the collapse and explode both in the same animation, then click on this playback mode reciprocate. If you select this, it will show both explode and collapse in the same video. And if you want to in increase the speed of the animation, click on this fast play. It will do it very fast and if you want to do it slowly click on this slow play so it will do it slowly if you want to create a file for it output video file then click on this save animation save animation then give the name for your animation file choose the folder then from here you can choose the aspect ratio how much you want Suppose I want this HDTV format, then click on save. Then from here choose the composer, which composer you want. Suppose I want this screen capture coding and click on OK. It will create the video file. 
and as we have selected this reciprocate so it will show both assembly and disassembly in the same video then you can record it for as much time as you want then to stop click on this stop button it will stop it and you can check the created animation file from your windows explorer so here is the animation file if we run it so it will show the animation in that way and during creation of animation if required you can zoom it or pan it you can also orbit it and show the animation so it will create the video file as per your viewing control commands so you can create animation from any direction then close it click on isometric view right click and choose explode zoom fit then if you want to show the lines connecting lines then click on this explode line sketch then select the object suppose i want to connect this hole with this hole and with this hole then select all the holes and click on ok so it will show a line sketch connecting those object then i want to connect this hole with this hole again this hole with this hole if you want to edit the position of the lines you can take your cursor on the line when these two arrows are shown press the first button and drag the mouse so in this way you can drag it and place it and if you want to reverse i want this line to be on this side click on this arrow by clicking on this arrow you can reverse the position and drag the lines in this way you can give the reference surfaces and create the line sketch suppose here i want to create it again select this hole and this hole and this shaft so it will show line like that then isometric view so in this way you can create the line sketch then click on ok if you don't want to show the line sketch click here and by right click on this 3d explode one okay just rebuild the drawing then right click on this and click on this side so it will hide the lines and if you want to show back the lines again right click on it and show then if you want to remove this explode state then just right click on this hide the lines just right click on this expl view one and delete it and yes so it will remove all the explode state and you can create the new thanks for watching we will stop here